36 Bihalacha section 1 which is like a bridegroom coming out of his chamber Rabbi Yehuda begins by saying that the children of Israel are blessed because God granted them the Torah of truth the tree of life for all her words are life he describes how the light of the sun's ear and illuminates and spreads from the top through the trunk strengthening the right and then the left one and Hashem spoke to Moses saying speak to Aaron and say to him when you kindle it. Left speed bar 81 to 2 Rabbi Yehuda opened the discussion saying which is like a bridegroom coming out of his chamber Tehillim 196 praise is a lot of Israel that the Holy One blessed be he favored them and granted them the Torah of truth the tree of life by which a person inherits life for this world and life for the world to come whoever tries to learn Torah and holds to her his life whoever leaves the words of the Torah and separates from the Torah is as if he took leave of life since she his life and all her words are life as it is written for they are life Mishlei 422 and I shall be health to your navel of 38 to come and behold the tree of life which is Zeir Anpin is attached from above downwards the light of the sun which is Zeir Anpin that shines upon all begins from the top that is Chakmabana and that and spreads to the trunk of the tree which is Tiferet in a straight path two sides are attached to it one to the north and one to the south one right which is Chesed and one left which is Bura when the sun illuminates from the trunk of the tree as we have learned it first strengthens the right arm which is Chesed and shines with force from that force of the right the left illuminates which is Bura and is included in its light three which is like a bridegroom coming out of his chamber he asks what is his chamber he responds that is the crown with which his mother crowned him on the day of his wedding Shurhashirim sure, 311 these are the Mokin. Chakmabana and Dad, that he received from his mother who is by the coming out of his chamber that is the top of all the light meaning Chakmabana and Dad as you say in the following scripture his going forth is from the end of the heaven Tehillim 197 this is the beginning of everything that is referred to as the end of the heaven meaning Bana from which emerges and begins Zeir and then referred to as heavens and he emerges like a real bridegroom when he goes out to meet his soul beloved bride he stretches out his arms which are Shisa and Bura and receives her for similar is the verse which is like a bridegroom coming out of his chamber the sun Zeir and then continues to spread to the west which is Malchut as soon as the west gets nearer the north side is the first to be aroused toward it that is Bura and approaches to the west it joins it at that place as we have learned the beginning of Zeir and then coupling is on the left which is Bura that is the secret of reconciliation and getting permission as is written his left hand is under my head sure hashering 26 following that is the south side which is right meaning cheese it as is written and his right hand embraces me but then it rejoices like a strong man to run a race tail in 196 to illuminate the moon from the central column that is yes and this has been explained come and behold when you kindle the lamps these are the loftiest candles which are the spirot of malchute which all shine brightly in unison from the sun which is zeir and section too happy is the people that know the joyful note rabbi abba tells how god drew the children of israel near to him when they left egypt and how he raised them to unite through his name only then were they called free men he killed all the firstborn of those who kept israel in chains and thus freed them completely not through an intermediary but directly rabbi abba gives the reason for marking the blood over the lintel and on both side posts during the killing of the firstborn he says that on certain occasions offerings are not sufficient prayers and petitions are also required and it is necessary to demonstrate deeds with the shofar as the blowing of the shofar arouses mercy five rabbi abba opened the discussion saying happy is the people that know the joyful note they shall walk o hashem in the light of your countenance tale 8916 this verse has been explained however come and behold praise are israel to whom the holy one blessed be he gave the holy torah and taught his ways to adhere to him and keep the commandments of the torah in order to achieve merit through them in the world to come and he drew them near when they came out from egypt since he withdrew them from another dominion and raised them to unite with his name only then israel were called free men in every respect in that they no longer sojourned under someone else's authority he raised them to unite with his name which is loftier above all and has dominion over the highest and the lowest six in his love for them he called them Israel is my son my firstborn Shema 422 similar to the above like Zeir and that is called firstborn he killed all the firstborn above and below from the other side and he loosened and untied the knots and shackles which the Egyptians tied so that Israel would not be able to leave Egypt in order to take them out he made them free of everything thus the Holy One. Blessed be he did not wish to take them out through an angel through a seraph but only through he himself moreover only he could distinguish between a firstborn and a non-firstborn and know everything and release the bond it is not within the authority of any other emissary but rather in his hand seven come and behold on the night that the Holy One blessed be he wanted to slaughter all these firstborn as we have learned the singers came to sing for him when night fell the Holy One blessed be. He told them that the time was not opportune to sing any song since the inhabitants of the earth were singing another song at midnight the north wind was stirring and the holy one blessed be he was wreaking vengeance for Israel Israel were singing their song with loud voices and at that moment he made them free from everyone the supernal angels and all the highest camps together were listening to the voices of Israel after they were circumcised and marked their houses with that blood and it blood of the paschal lamb with three marks upon the lintel and on the two side posts Shemot 1223 8 what is the reason that they marked the blood over the door lintel and the two side posts it has already been explained it is because it is a holy mark and the angel of destruction had mercy upon Israel when he saw this blood that was marked on the opening this is what is written Hashem will pass over the door but we must look closely here if the holy one blessed be he and no other messenger came and slew in the land of Egypt what is the purpose of this mark over the door opening since all is revealed to him in addition what is the meaning of and will not allow the destroyer of it which means it was a messenger it should have said and will not destroy nine it most certainly is so as it is written and Hashem smote all the firstborn of it twenty nine and Hashem indicates him Zeir Anpin and his courthouse Malchut that courthouse is present here therefore it says it destroyer it is always imperative to show a deed below in order to awaken a corresponding one above to be saved because of that it was necessary to place the blood over the door lintel and the two side posts to arouse mercy for them above similar to that are the offerings on the altar this is in order that there the destroyer shall not come there ten this is by means of a deed meaning offerings when it is not needed for example on Rosh Hashanah the Jewish New Year which is the day of Judgment which those of wicked tongues stand ready to denounce Israel it is not sufficient to give mere offering speech is required that is prayers and petitions it is necessary to demonstrate deeds as we have explained and we learned with what these must be demonstrated it is with the shofar in order to invoke another shofar which is bina we produce through the sound of the shofar mercy and judgment together all as is required this is just like that highest shofar which is bina that emitted a sound which is zeir and which is the inclusion of chisa judgment and mercy together since typhoid which is zeir and is inclusive of chisa judgment and mercy to awaken mercy we awaken with the blowing of the shofar and break down the prosecutor so that they shall have no dominion on that day when mercy is awakened all the upper luminaries the sfirot illuminate from this side and from that side meaning from the right and left and in the light of the king's countenance is life. Mishlei 1615 11 come and behold the priest intended to light the lamps below and brought the offering of spiced incense during that moment the upper candles are shining that is the spirot and everything connects together happiness and gladness prevail in all the worlds and it is written ointment and perfume rejoice the heart Mishlei 279 therefore it is written when you kindle the lamps Bimit bar 82 section 3 and the ark rested in the seventh month rabbi the laser tells rabbi you see and rabbi it's hot that every word of the torah has secrets even though it may be telling a simple story the torah demonstrates the highest matters and the utmost secrets he uses the story of the landing of the ark on mount ararat as an example saying that it is to teach us about a universal truth the time of judgment rabbi laser says that god would not have limited himself to just writing down what various people like esau and hager and Levin and balaam said if he had it would not be called the Torah of truth as it is every individual word comes to designate the highest things we learn that and the ark rested refers to the time when judgment hangs upon the world and judgments prevail the time when God sits on the throne of justice to put the world on trial that throne is only ready during the seventh month during
Whole yet it is an exception it is so in order to teach a general rule not teach merely about itself since the Torah is the highest generality even though a simple story is an exception to the rule its function most certainly is not merely to tell us just that story but rather to demonstrate the highest matters and the utmost secrets it is not considered as an exception so as to teach about itself but rather to demonstrate a general rule since that story of the Torah or that occurrence although it stands to itself outside the Torah did not come to show this alone but rather came to demonstrate the general law of the entire Torah 14 for example it is written and the ark rested in the seventh month on the seventeenth day of the month upon the mountains of Ararat most likely the scriptural verse is an exception to the generality of the Torah and came to relate a simple story he asks what do we care if it landed on this mountain or on that mountain it had to rest somewhere he Response it is only to instruct us on the general as a whole that it was specified since it alludes to a time of judgment as we mentioned before praise our Yisrael that the loftiest Torah was granted to them a Torah of truth whoever says that this Torah story is mentioned simply to relate only that story alone may he breathe his last because then it is not supernal Torah the Torah of truth but most certainly the holy Torah the loftiest is a Torah of truth 15 come and behold there is a king of flesh and blood it is no honor for him to have simple talk and most certainly to write these simple things down could you imagine if the exalted king the holy one blessed be he had no holy things to write about with which to produce the Torah but he merely gathered all the simplest matters such as the utterings of Esau the utterings of Hagar the utterings of Laban to Jacob the utterings of the mule the utterings of Balaam the utterings of Balak and the utterings of Zimri and then he gathered them and all the stories that were written and made a Torah out of them 16 if so why is it referred to as the Torah of truth Malachi 26 the Torah of Hashem is perfect testimony of Hashem is sure the statutes of Hashem are right commandment of Hashem is pure the fear of Hashem is clean the judgments of Hashem are true more to be desired are they than gold even much fine gold Tehillim 198 to 11 these words refer to Torah matters most certainly the holy loftiest Torah is a Torah of truth since the Torah of Hashem is perfect every individual word comes to designate the highest thing since that specific matter which is in a story is not here to teach about itself alone but rather to imply the overall aspect as we have explained 17 come and behold and the ark rested this verse is true as will be explained as are others most certainly at the moment that judgment hangs upon the world and judgments prevail the holy one blessed be he sits on the throne of judgment to put the world on trial through that throne how many notes are recorded on it how many verdicts are stored in it in the bag of the king all the open books were stored there and therefore nothing was forgotten by the king that throne is not ready and is not available save during the seventh month then is the day of judgment a day in which all the people in the world are counted and everyone passes before that throne hence the ark rested malchut that is referred to as ark rested in the seventh month most certainly the seventh month which is when the judgment of the world comes 18 upon the mountains of Ararat Ararat is derived from arur and cursed indicating those prosecutors who whine and wail and all those emissaries that are present on that day before the holy one blessed be he how many shielding ones are wakened on that day and they all stand under that throne when the world is on trial 19 and Israel put forth their prayers on that day and pay and beseech before him and blow the shofar, the holy one blessed be he has mercy for them and reverses judgment to mercy all the upper and lower beings say happy is the people that know the joyful note Tehillim 8916 it is therefore required on that day that whoever blows should be familiar with the main secrets of the matters he should concentrate on the blowing and expedite the matters with the highest wisdom therefore it is written happy is the people that know the joyful note and not that blow the joyful note we have already explained the section 4 when you light the lamps rabbi you see enters a cave where he hears a voice saying what will happen when the seven lamps are lit when he brings rabbi laser into the cave they encounter two people studying the Torah the rabbis discuss the kindling of the lamps and the offering of incense the lighting of the candles is the secret of drawing out the abundance of Shesedim from Shachma 20 they went along all that Day and when nightfall came they went up to a place and found a cave Rabbi Lazar said let one enter into the cave for perhaps he will find there a place that is better suited Rabbi Yossi entered and saw another cave within it and the light of a candle shining in it he heard a voice that said when you light the lamps the seven lamps shall give light towards the body of the candlestick Demid bar 82 here the congregation of Israel that is Malchut received light as supernal that is by his adorned and all the candles that are the Sfirat of Malchut illuminate within and from her they said about themselves to refine souls so from her that is they uplift main movement and female waters with their Torah study all the best men meaning all who uplift female waters through their Torah that are referred to as groomsmen connect Malchut to the upper one which is Bina from there they draw her light downwards 21 Rabbi Yossi heard this and was glad he came to Rabbi Lazar. Rabbi Lazar said to him, Let us enter, since the Holy One blessed be he hastened before us on the stage to produce miracles for us. They entered as soon as they entered, they noticed two people who were involved in Torah study. Rabbi Lazar said, How excellent is your love, Elohim, therefore the children of men shelter under the shadow of your wings. Tehillim 368. They stood up, then they all sat down and were merry. Rabbi Lazar said, How excellent is your love, Elohim, how excellent that I have found you. The Holy One blessed be he has done us grace in this place now, like the candles, meaning that they should converse in matters of Torah to raise female waters to kindle this fire out of Malchut from IMA as was said above 22. Rabbi Yussi opened the discussion saying, When you kindle the lamps, meaning when you actually light that is while kindling, because two services were done by the priest which are the same connection and they are oil and incense that is the secret of Shachma and Bina's. Is written ointment and perfume, let incense rejoice the heart. Mishlei 279 and, and Aaron shall burn upon it sweet incense, and when Aaron lights the lamps at evenings, he shall burn incense upon it. Shemot 7 to 8, he asks, What is the difference that here it says when he dresses, and there it says lights. Rabbi Yehuda says, Dressing and lighting amount to the same thing, since dressing is like lighting. 23 Rabbi Yossi said, When he readies lit betters, is as it is written, for your love is better than wine. Sure, Hasherim 12, since those that are saturated with wine are better or good, as it is written, for then we had plenty of bread and were well also better off. Here may off 4417. This means to say that whoever is satisfied with wine or bread, the secret of the lights in the first three Sfirot that are considered good, consequently, when he readies the lamps, means that he will draw abundantly the lights that are referred to as wine and bread, which is the secret of it. Illumination of Chakma and Chesedim Rabbi Yehuda says it is a real improvement he disputes what Rabbi Yos I said that the bettering is a result of the abundant lights rather the lights of the feast which are the secret of illumination of Chakma are themselves considered bettering as it is written but he that is of a merry lit good heart has a continual feast Mishlei 1515 when lights means during the time that the Sfirot are filled and saturated from the water of the stream since the stream is Bina and its water is from Chakma the upper grades are then uplifted and blessings prevail in all and all are glad consequently making good the lamps is the illumination of Chakma that flows from Bina which is the secret of wine and the lighting of the candles is the secret of drawing out the abundance of Chesedim that never ceases from that Chakma therefore it is written when he kindles 24 Rabbi Yosh said during the time when the most profound of all that is Supernalava, shines it shines upon the stream the supernal IMA above the stream flows in a straight way meaning through the central column that is ZEIR and to irrigate all meaning all the grades of Malchut then it is written when lights lit raises since everything exudes from the deepest when raises means that it comes from the deepest side that is referred to as thought which is Abba and all means the same meaning that it is the same as what Rabbi Yosi and Rabbi Yehuda said then the congregation of Israel is blessed and blessings prevail throughout the world section 5 is Sichar and Zebulun Rabbi Yitzhak uses the story of the Sichar and Zebulun to illustrate the partnership between those to study the Torah and those who help to support and protect them and learn from them he and Rabbi Abba talk about the color blue that is judgment 25 Rabbi Yitzhak opened the discussion with the verse I have surely built you a house to dwell in Hebzibol Settled place for you to abide in forever. I may lash him 813, a house to dwell in, most definitely when all the stored treasures of the king that is
Since he was an aspect of Malchud, how do we know that it is so? Because it is written, they shall call the peoples to the mountain there, they shall offer sacrifices of righteousness. Ibid 19 Sacrifices of righteousness, most certainly meaning of Malchud that is called righteousness. What is the reason for they shall suck the abundance of the seas? Ibid meaning of abundance that comes through battles. Issachar's lot is in the Torah, and he surely gives to Zebulun his share in the Torah. Therefore, they were together in the partnership so that Zebulun should receive blessings from Issachar, since the blessing of the Torah is everyone's blessing. 28 Rabbi Abba said, The heritage of the Torah is indeed in this way, and this level is the sixth, which is Yezid, which gives the reward of the Torah and bequeaths it to the congregation of Israel. It bequeaths the white, which is Jesus, to the blue, which is judgment. Thus, we have learned that when one distinguishes between blue and white for the reading of the SH Ma, meaning that the hues shall be distinguishable, then it is considered mourning, then the white comes to the world, and the blue, which is judgment, disappears from the world. Therefore, all the wars of the king and all the battle gear of the king were assigned to the hands of Malchud when she was considered a house to dwell in Hebzibuel, and also Zebulun, as mentioned above, we have already explained at section 6 the well that the princes dug out. Rabbi Abba says that the title verse refers to the congregation of Israel to Abba and Ima and to the patriarchs Malchud is called both a well when Isaac goes out with weapons from the side of Ima and a sea when it illuminates from the uppermost river of Abba from the day that the congregation of Israel entered exile the waters failed but the righteous Yezid fills Malchud with the supernal flow so that the universe inherits all the blessings 29 the well that the princes dug out that the nobles of the people delved Bimidbar 21 18 the well is the congregation of Israel which is Malchud that the princes dug out is Abba and Ima that gave birth to Malchud that the nobles of the people delved are the patriarchs which are Shesed Bura and Tiferet of Zeir and Ben it is written the nobles of the peoples are gathered together the people of the Elohim of Abraham Tehillim 4710 the Elohim of Abraham is Shesed of Zeir and Ben from which Bura and Tiferet are drawn that the nobles of the People delve means that they constructed it in order that it would be blessed from them through one level that is the righteous which is Yezid of Zeir and that stands over it and pours upon it all that there is in Shesed Bura and Tiferet. Therefore we have the saying when this well travels it is with the help of the patriarchs that it travels thirty at times Malchud is called the well and at times it is called the sea it is called the well when Isaac who is Bura of Zeir and goes out with weapons from the left column from the side of Ima and comes to draw the illumination of Chakma from Ima to Malchud and fill her up in accordance with the secret of the verse his left hand is under my head Sher Hasherim 26 and she is called the well of Isaac or the well of Miriam as has already been explained it is called sea when it illuminates from the uppermost river of Abba since she then receives Chakma and Chesedim since streams run to her as it is written all the Rivers run into the sea at the sea is not full. Kahilat 1731 from the day that the congregation of Israel which is Malchut went into exile it is written the waters fail from the sea. Eoth 1411 that refers to the congregation of Israel that is called sea while the river is parched and dries up if it is the righteous who is Yezid. Hence it is written the righteous perishes Yeshua 571 since he was the uppermost and precious river that entered her he gathered all these rivers and streams that are drawn from the flow of that holy river whose waters never cease that is by and that comes out and emerges from the uppermost Eden it enters within her and fills up her ponds meaning the Sphirot of Malchut and from there the universe inherits all the blessings in all perfection 32 come and behold when the congregation of Israel is blessed all the worlds are blessed and Israel below suckle and are blessed under account we explain that Malchut protects Israel as we have learned section 7 the name of Ayin Bet 72 letters Rabbi Abba uses three verses beginning with and the angel of Elohim who went before the camp of Israel removed to show how the 72 letters in each verse allude to the name of Ayin Bet 72 when the letters are in direct order they point to mercy and when they are in reverse order they point to judgment the holy name of 72 is passed on in these verses in which the patriarchs are included and we read about the joining of the left right and central columns in the secret of faith the task of the construction of the holy name is made known through the uniting of the patriarchs the ways to judgment to mercy to help to kindness to auditor to life to death to good and to bad are found with this name of 72 33 it is written and the angel of Elohim who went before the camp of Israel removed Shema 1419 the angel of Elohim is the congregation of Israel who as we have explained moved with the help of the patriarchs at that time as it says and the angel removed meaning to say that she then received from the three columns, Chesed, Bura and Tiferet, that are referred to as the patriarchs when they are by her everything is both Chakma and Chesedim due to this the holy name of 72 is passed on in these verses in which the patriarchs are incorporated as we have explained one verse in forward direction pointing to the right column one verse backward pointing to the left column and one verse forward pointing to the central column 34 and the angel of Elohim who went before the camp of Israel removed this verse is in the regular direction because Abraham is present here who is Chesed the right column and all those who come from his side therefore the letters are in this order 35 Abraham who is Chesed was adorned with his crowns here and he crowned the congregation of Israel which is Malchut in the right way to go by day meaning Chesed as written yet Hashem will Command his steadfast love, Chesed, in the daytime and in the night, his song shall be with me. Tehillim 429, therefore it is written, removed. When did they move by day when the sun shines, which is Zeir and Ben, for then Chesed rules this verse. Shemot 1419 contains 72 letters. 36, the second verse is of Isaac, who is Bureau of Zeir and Ben. We find that there are also 72 letters in which there is judgment for the Egyptians and mercy for Israel. Therefore it is written here, and it came between the camp of Egypt and the camp of Israel. Shemot 1420, that is toward the ones and toward the others. Isaac is the secret of the illumination of Chakma, and the illumination of Chakma flows forth only with harsh judgments for the wicked and good recompense for the righteous. This is the secret of, and it came between the camp of Egypt and the camp of Israel, and it was a cloud and darkness of it, since that is the day of Isaac, a day that I ask cloudy for the cloud and the darkness originated in it. Therefore the order of the letters is backward and not straightforward like this 137 therefore the letters are all backward as is written and it was a cloud and darkness which is judgment and backward direction alludes to judgment as soon as Isaac got involved in its judgments the one came not near the other but it is written the one came not near the other because those that come from the side of Abraham meaning from the light of Chesed do not come near the other meaning that the right column which is Chesed did not get near to bestow abundance on the left column which is Bura consequently the left was with Chakma without Chesedim which is a harsh judgment and dark and Zeir and that is Chesed did not approach the Mukva to present her with Chesedim the Mukva was receiving from the left column Chakma without Chesedim which is darkness they were unable to get near one another since this well which is Malchut was attached to Isaac who is the left column it is Written but it gave light by night of it meaning that the left column illuminated the night which is Malchut when it was filled up to join with Isaac the one came not near the other and was unable to get near since there was no union between Zeir and Ben and Malchut from the side of Chesed they were separated until Jacob who is the central column came and joined to Abraham who is Chesed and took Isaac and placed him in the middle between mercy which is the central column and Chesed which is the right column and the faith was connected one with the other meaning that the two columns right and left were tied together and also Zeir and Ben and Malchut were coupled together from the side of Chesed and Israel were saved 38 we have learned that in the place where the patriarchs are other righteous people are with them meaning that in the place where there are Chesed Bura and Tiferet which are the patriarchs there are also Netzach Hadyazid and Malchut who are called Moses Aaron and Joseph therefore this name of Ayin Bet 72 is understood and explained in other ways meaning that the name of 72 is explained in this manner the 12 boundaries, which are the secret Chakma and Bida Tiferet and Malchut in each of the three columns equaling 12, illuminated all ends of the six ends of Zeir and Ben and 6 times 12 equals 72 and similarly there are other matters in this line although all explanations result in one
over the sea and Hashem caused the sea to go back by a strong east wind Shema 1421 what is a strong east wind also spirit that is Jacob's spirit who is the central column which I as strong and powerful against the left column breaking the anger of the sea then he made the sea dry land and the waters were divided by emptying the sea of the waters of anger the waters split to the side of Abraham who is right which is Jesus and to the side of Jacob who is the central column which is Mercy this is what is written and the waters were divided to the side and to that side therefore all the letters in this verse of the central column are in the right direction 40 these letters are in forward direction on the side of Jacob who is the central column and so are all those who come from his side when Jacob arrived he connected to Abraham who is the right column and took Isaac who is the left column and placed him in the middle between him and the right column and the faith was tied between the one and the other meaning that the two columns connected the right column and the left column one to the other and all three to Malchut that is called faith therefore the task of the construction of the holy name is made known through the uniting of the patriarchs meaning the right with the left and the left with the right and both with the central which is one not all three columns become one the knot of faith and all three columns are connected in Malchut that is Called faith to become a whole chariot, which are three columns and Malchut the four legs of the throne which are the throne and the chariot to bind everything is accomplished with the uniting of the patriarchs together as mentioned previously 41 the friends know how to proceed in the right way meaning in the central column to establish the deeds properly and with this name of I and that 72 that is the knot of the patriarchs are found ways to judgment to mercy to help to kindness to all. To Torah to life to death to good and bad praise are those virtuous ones who know the matters of the Torah and know to go in the ways of the holy king they are praised in this world and the world to come section 8 the name of I and that 72 names we hear about the patriarchs in their travels their deeds and their knots or unifications wherever the patriarchs are found the rest of the righteous are also found we are given a detailed description of the seven knots in the 72 names and are told that during the moment that all the steps of the name 72 are present the total faith is present the Shechina always travels with the patriarchs and when they travel all other levels travel within them finally we hear that while Zebulun inherited the sea of Kinaret that is Malchut Judah took all Malchut and united it in all its own levels 42 behold the patriarchs in their travels in deeds to raise female waters and in knots that is with unifications with which they connect that bind one to the other in each name of these 72 names all patriarchs are bound together since they are the three columns when they join together there is nobody who can stand up to them we have learned that wherever the patriarchs are we also find with them the rest of the righteous such as Moses Aaron and Joseph therefore this name of 72 goes in differently explained ways although all explanations have a similar outcome 43 there are seven knots in the 72 names and to every Individual not the three patriarchs, that are Chesed, Vira and Tiferet, are connected along with four others, that are Netzach, Hadjazid and Malchut. He goes on to explain that the head of the 72 names the three Sfirat, Chakma, Bina and Dad that are referred to as head the center among them which is Malchut is in one connection because Chakma and Bina are the ones that dug the water well which is Malchut as it is written the well that the princes dug out, Bimidbar 2118 who are Chakma and Bina therefore Chakma, Bina, Dad and Malchut are in one not the second connection is the one at other Shema 1420 meaning the two columns of Chesed and Vira about which is said the one came not near the other they are one not that starts with three yets 44 the third not is Tiferet which is the central column and that is the total perfection of all faith for it bestows upon Malchut that is referred to as faith and complements it the fourth not is two pillars upon which the body stands which are Netzach and Hot and are considered as Netzach the fifth knot is Hot within which there is good and bad and a river that flows to the tree of life and death which is Malchut since Hot bestows upon Malchut it is the most profound of all meaning that it contains more judgments than any other sphere the sixth knot is Yezid within whom there is judgment with mercy the seventh knot which is Malchut was already mentioned in the beginning that it is included in that head which we spoke of since it is the center of everything as mentioned since it is the center of everything it is called Aleph Nun meaning that in its division the name of Aleph Nun Yudi exists that is the support of all the branches that are united around it 45 these seven steps the seven knots mentioned above are from one level to another level from the first step to the last step one chariot is known for all the names that unite in it and also from one level to another meaning that similar to each individual step is a complete chariot on its own, although in each step there are the same seven Sfirat, Chesed, Vira, Tiferet, Netzach, Hadjazid, and Malchut. The difference between them is that in each step all follow that step that is assigned to them. We have already explained these matters. For example, in the step of Chesed, there are seven Sfirat, Chesed, Vira, Tiferet, Netzach, Hadjazid, and Malchut, but all follow the dominant sphere of Chesed. Similarly, Vira has all the seven Sfirat, Chesed, Vira, Tiferet, Netzach, Hadjazid, and Malchut, all carry on according to the dominant sphere of Vira, and it is the same with every level 46. Come and behold, during the moment that all these steps of the name 72 are present, the total faith is present, meaning the wholeness of Malchut. These seven knots are seven clouds that surrounded Israel, and they total ten since Chesed is included in the first three Sfirat is known. Therefore, when the Shechina travels, it travels. With the patriarchs that are Chesed, Vira, and Tiferet, which are the secret of the name 72, for when they travel, all other levels travel within them as mentioned, and then the congregation of Israel, which is Malchut, is adorned properly, and all their illumination is primarily during their travels. 47 Come and behold, Zebulun, as we spoke, inherited the sea of Kinaret, the unspecified sea of Kinaret, which is Malchut, and so it deserves to be. He asks if so, Judah, of whom it was said that he is always Malchut, what part has he got in it in Malchut that Zebulun has already taken? He replies, It is just that Judah took all Malchut and united in it all its own levels, both smallness and greatness in the secret of Dalit. A of Judah, Dalit indicates the smallness before receiving over it the male, and the A indicates the greatness, which is not the case with Zebulun. He simply took the aspect of Malchut when it was called the sea of Kinaret in the secret of the battles in IT section. 9 the inner altar and the candlestick Rabbi Shimon says that the candlestick above Malchut and all its lamps the Sfirat all shine through Aaron since he readied the candlestick he compares the twelve princes of the twelve tribes to the twelve permutations of Yudhei Vavhei and Zer and the candlestick was assigned with the seven lamps corresponding to the seven Sfirat it stands through a sign and was produced through a miracle we learn what the inner altar and the outer altar are and how abundance flows from the inner to the outer incense is the connection of everything 48 Rabbi Lazar says in relation to this portion all the tasks of the candlestick and all the required preparations of it were already mentioned why is it repeated here a second time he responds it is just that once the princes have offered their sacrifices on the altar and the necessary services required for each one the scripture comes to relate the story of the candlestick that was ready through Aaron since the candlestick above which is Malchut and all its lamps that are the Sfirat all shine through air and 49 come and behold contemplate the altar 12 princes were there to arrange and prepare it and it was explained that the 12 represent the tribes of the four directions with four standards since three tribes were assigned to each standard and all together there were 12 everything was similar to above the altar above which is Malchut receives from the 12 permutations of Yud Hei Vav and Zeir Anpin which is the secret of Chakma and Bina Tiferet and Malchut that is in each of the three columns totaling 12 the candlestick was assigned with the seven lamps to be lit by a priest all similar to above corresponding to Zeir Anpin that illuminates to Chesed Vira Tiferet Netzach Hadjazit and Malchut of Malchut the candlestick stands through a sign and was produced through a miracle for it was made on its own this has been explained in relation to the making of the candlestick 50 the inner altar and the candlestick are together for everyone's happiness as is written ointment and perfume rejoice the heart Mishlei 279 oil is the candlestick that is Malchut that receives from Chakma and incense is the inner altar we have explained that there were two altars one is innermost and that is the altar for incense and it is for happiness and corresponds to Bina the other one that is the exterior altar is for sacrificial offerings which corresponds to Malchut abundance flows from the inner altar which corresponds to Bina to the one
Secret of Bida is awakened by the incense and outer which is Malchut is not capable of carrying out judgment therefore incense is the connection of everything and it is offered in the inner altar where all happiness exists praised are the children of Israel in this world and the world to come about them it is written and said to me you are my servant Israel in whom I will be glorified Yeshua 493 section 10 one who comes from the side of judgment must not grow here we hear that whoever comes from the side of judgment like the love it must not grow here since that increases judgment in the world all powers and corrections come from the priests who are from the right side and the body that is the central column is the essence of everything connecting left and right 52 take the love it's bar 86 it has already been explained that there is a requirement to cleanse them and draw them to connect at their place in the left column since they are from the left arm of Bureau of Zeir and, and the side of judgment whoever comes from the side of judgment must not grow hair since it increases judgment in the world consequently a woman similarly is required to attend to it so that her hair should not be visible outside and she must cover her head and veil her hair this has been explained and we have already learned it all those that come from the side of judgment are then blessed therefore it is written of the lovets and thus shall you do to them to cleanse them and let them shave of it seven we have learned that the lovets cannot ascend to their assigned place until the priest uplifts them because the right always leads the left 53 rabbi shimon said the day that the lovets ascended to their place they offered for sacrifice two oxen why oxen he responds they are like oxen meaning in the left column in the secret of the face of an ox on the left side yeshiskel 110 they receive with the left this cow that is called a red Heifer meaning Malchut of the left side every power and every correction depends on the priest who is the right column since the total power of the body is in the right arm therefore the priest was the right arm of all Israel by which he was ready to arrange everything and sustain the world in spite of all this the right column is not alone but connected to the body and to the left that is with the two columns central and left and the body that is the central column is the essence of everything since it unites the two columns and completes them and also includes them section 11 this is that which belongs to the Levites Rabbi Shimon says that the Levite must serve from age 25 to age 50 after which his strength is declining and his voice is not as strong the place to which the Levite is assigned is from strong judgment and must not be flawed by any weakness 54 this is that which belongs to the Levites Bimid bar 824 come and behold the Levite who is 25 years old ascends to his place and is adorned he will do service work for 25 years until he reaches the grade of 50 when he reaches the grade of the 50th year and higher he declines from the strength of fire within him since the fire and heat get cooler he causes damage to the place to which he is connected which is the left 55 in addition after 50 years the singing voice is no longer that well connected with him since it becomes a little weaker it is necessary that this voice should not be flawed but rather get stronger since it stands in a place of strong judgment and not in a weak one therefore it is important not to degrade that place that is the left to which he is assigned since it is powerful judgment and not feeble it is necessary not to show any feebleness in any direction praised is the man that toils in the Torah knows the ways of the holy one blessed be he and does not deviate to the right or the left it is written for the ways of Hashem are. Right Hashia 1410 meaning one who follows steadily in the central column section 12 the Pesach at its appointed season and second Pesach Rabbi Shimon explains why God spoke to Moses in the wilderness of Sinai about Pesach since he had already told them about it in Egypt he says that if the Torah had come simply to relate simple tales we could produce a better Torah today it is obvious that everything in the Torah contains higher secrets the stories told therein are merely its garment or dress the same as the body is the garment for the person who comes to earth he says that the soul that is the splendor of Israel that is Zerampin is the actual soul of the Torah at which the sages look 56 and Hashem spoke to Moses in the wilderness of Sinai Bimid bar 91 Rabbi Abba said what is the reason that he exhorted them here about the Pesach it was already told to them in Egypt he responds this is because it was the second year and Israel thought that it only Applied in Egypt since they had already performed it in Egypt once they assumed that it was no longer necessary the Holy One blessed be he came and cautioned them about this so that they should not think that its time had passed in Egypt and that it was not necessary any longer therefore he exhorted them about it in the wilderness of Sinai in the second year to institute Pesach Passover for the generations to come 57 another explanation although he exhorted them about that in Egypt he commanded them a second time in the place where all the commandments and laws of the Torah were given therefore in the second year he asks what is the meaning of in the first month of the second year namely what does this allude to he replies this is a lofty secret there is that which is referred to as a year and there is that which is referred to as a month what is the difference between this and that month is the moon meaning Malchut while a year is the sun's eir and which illuminates it Moon in the first month of the second year points to the coupling of Zeir and Malchut which are called year and month in the place of the Sinai desert that is the second union after the exodus of Egypt this was during the time that all the commandments of the Torah were passed on to them since through the coupling of male and female in the desert of Sinai all the commandments of the Torah were given 58 Rabbi Shimon says woe to the man who says that the Torah came to relate story simply and plainly and simple details about Esau and Laban and the like if it was so even at the present day we could produce a Torah from simplistic matters and perhaps even nicer ones than those if the Torah came to exemplify worldly matters even the rulers of the world have among them things that are superior if so let us follow them and produce from them a Torah in the same manner it must be that all items in the Torah are of a superior nature and are uppermost secrets 59 come and behold the world above and the world below are measured with one scale the children of Israel below correspond to the lofty angels above it is written about the lofty angels who makes the winds his messengers tell him 1044 when they descend downwards they are donned with the vestments of this world if they had not acquired the dress for this world they would not be able to exist in this world and the world would not be able to stand them and if this is so for the angels how much more so is it for the Torah that created these messengers and all the worlds that exist due to her once it was brought down to this world if it had not done all these covering garments of this world which are the stories and simplistic tales the world would not have been able to tolerate it 60 therefore the story of the Torah is the mantle of the Torah he who thinks that this mantle is the actual essence of the Torah and that nothing else is in there let his spirit deflate and let him have no Heart in the world to come therefore David said open my eyes that I may behold wondrous things out of your Torah Tehillim 11918 that is look what lies under that garment of the Torah 61 come and behold there is a dress that is visible to everyone the simple people when they see a person dressed beautifully who appears to them distinguished by his clothing do not observe any further they make their judgments about him according to his distinguished apparel and they consider the dress as the body of man and the body of the person like his soul 62 similar to this is the Torah it has a body which is composed of the commandments of the Torah that are called the body of the Torah this body is clothed with garments which are stories of this world the ignorant of the world look only at that dress which is the story in the Torah and are not aware of anything more they do not look at what lies beneath that dress those who know more do not look at the dress but rather at the body Beneath that dress the wise the sages the servants of the loftiest king those that stood at Mount Sinai look only at the soul of the Torah which is the essence of everything the real Torah in the destiny to come they are destined to look at the soul the soul of the Torah 63 come and behold it is also like that above there exists an apparel a body a soul and a soul for the soul the heavens and its legions are the apparel and the congregation of Israel which is Malchut is the body that receives the soul which is the splendor of Israel meaning Zeir and therefore Malchut is the body of the soul since Zeir and is done with her like the soul in the body the soul that we mentioned which is the splendor of Israel is the actual Torah meaning the soul of the Torah at which the sages look at is the soul of the soul that is the ancient holy one on whom they will look in the destiny to come as mentioned everything is held one by the other the holy Atika is dressed in Zeir and and Zeir Anpin is dressed in Malchut and Malchut is dressed in the world's Briya Yitzhara Isiya and all their legion 64 woe to those wicked who say that the Torah is merely a story and nothing more for they look at the dress and no further praise are the righteous who look properly at the Torah one last only if it is in a jug similarly the Torah does not endure except in this mantle therefore there is no need to look except at what is beneath the mantle that is why all these matters
man which means that he is worthy to be a man but he caused himself to be defiled so the holiness from above should not be with him 67 or be on a journey afar off of it this is one of the ten places that have dots in the Torah all come to demonstrate something what is afar off there is a point above the hay of afar head it is because a person that defiles himself is made unclean above as soon as they make him unclean above he is afar off far from the place and the road on which the children of Yisrael are attached he is attached to a journey afar off he removed himself from getting close to you Yisrael and to connect with you as you connect that is why it says on a journey afar off with the dot on the hay of Rikokit to indicate that the intention is on the other side that is far from holiness 68 Rabbi Yitzhak said why is it written shall be unclean by reason of a dead body or be on a journey afar off that seems to indicate that there are two things here which is understood from the word or and how can you say that they are one thing that the uncle Anas caused him to be afar off Rabbi Yossi said here when it says unclean by reason of a dead body it means prior to having been made unclean from above here when it says on a journey afar off the meaning is after they made him unclean from above and he stumbled to that journey afar off which is the other side it seems that neither this one nor that one will have holiness from above reside with them and they will not observe the passage at the same time that Yisrael observe it 69 if you wonder whether he observes the passage on the following month even if he does not amend himself it is not so it is only after he has purified and restored himself he has another month to perform the paschal lamb from here we take it that every person that purifies himself is also purified from above 70 if you will venture to say that he will find himself on a higher level that second month it is not so this is because the children of Israel, the holy offspring that prepare the paschal lamb at its designated time take the moon and the sun that are malchut and zeir and together as one whoever receives first the foundation receives the building upon it what is the foundation do not say that it is the loftiest foundation of the everlasting righteous that is yezid of zeir but rather the foundation of a precious stone malchut as is written the stone which the builders have rejected has become the headstone of the corner tail 11822 for this is a stone upon which something lies that is zeir and 71 rabbi yehuda said certainly he acquires all even on the second month that is one can acquire even in the second month malchut and zeir and together at once just like in the first paschal preparations of the lamb however it is not quite the same as if someone acquires the paschal lamb on the designated period what is the reason it is because the one who Acquires the Paschal Lamb service on its designated period receives from the bottom upward and does not regress since we may promote to a higher grade of sanctity but not degrade the one who acquires the Paschal Lamb past the designated time descends from higher to lower therefore even if it is the same in everything it is not equal since this one ascends and that one descends and that one descends and does not ascend therefore whoever brings the Paschal Lamb on its designated state is more. Worthy praise are the children of Israel who are meritorious in all they are worthy of the Torah and whoever is worthy of the Torah merits the holy name praised are they in this world and the world to come we are told that once the congregation of Israel is adorned with her crowns in the month of Nisan she does not remove the crowns from herself for thirty days so it is still possible to have a second Passover in the second month the commandments for the slaughter of the Paschal Lamb and the delay of the celebration for those who are unclean or far away to the second date are laid out for us. The first Passover is from the right and the second is in the left. R.A.I. Mahim to the faithful shepherd 72. It is a commandment to make a second passage for those that were unable to do the Paschal offering on its designated date because they were too far away or were defiled by any other uncleanness. He asks if the secret of Passage, which is the secret of the faith in which Israel entered, dominates in the month of Nisan and then it is a time for rejoicing. How could those who were unable to prepare it on time or were defiled make up for it in the second month, seeing that its time had already passed? 73. He replies once the congregation of Israel, which is Malchut, is adorned with its crowns, meaning the Mokin of the first three Sfirot in the month of Nisan, she does not remove these crowns and adornments from herself for 30 days. The matron sits in her adornments. All these thirty days beginning with the day of the exodus of Israel since the Paschal Lamb and all her legions are in a state of happiness whoever wishes to see the matron may look and the proclamation calls whoever did not get a chance to see the matron should come and look before the gates are locked when is this proclamation proclaimed it is on the fourteenth day of the second month since the gates remain open from then on for seven days following following that they lock the gates. Therefore they bring the second passage seventy four this commandment entails the slaughter of the Paschal Lamb at its appointed time it reveals the first Paschal Lamb date and the second Paschal Lamb and cautions us to consume them in accordance with their laws the unclean should be delayed to the second Paschal Lamb date that is the third commandment tenem and on wrong they are persons who are like pure mundane objects from the side of Michael and they are those like mundane objects from the sacred. For example, holy me from the side of Gabriel, since Michael and Gabriel are the priest and the Levi, which is Jesus and Gabriel, they are persons who are like holy days and they are like the holy of holy. 75. The Shechinah is the first passage from the right side, since the first month is from the right column, and the second passage from the left, since the second month is the left column, since Nisan and Iyar are Jesus and Gabriel, the first passage is from the right where Chakma prevails. Since Chakma is in the right column, the second passage is in the left where Bina prevails, since Bina is in the left column, and Gabriel, which is in the left column, all foreign fires are removed, which are like straw and chaff in relation to the fire of Gabriel, therefore the unclean are delayed until the second passage. Section 14. Everything that comes into the fire, you shall pass through the fire. We learn that the soul is the vessel of God and that God will not dwell. In it until it is purged in the fire of Gura also people are cleansed by the written Torah from the right that is referred to as water the completely wicked are purified in Gehenom but those who study the oral Torah and the written Torah are purified through the Torah 76 every uncleanness such as that of a woman in her menstrual flow a leper or a man or a woman who has a discharge and a woman who gives birth the fire of Gura consumes them the soul is the vessel of the Holy One Blessed be he and the Holy One blessed be he does not dwell in it until it is purged in the fire of Gura as is written is not my word like a fire says Hashem Yirmeyah 2329 in this fire if the evil inclination is like iron it explodes if it is like stone it melts 77 and of the right the place of the written Torah that is referred to as water it says and she shall be cleansed from the flow of her blood Vayikra 127 through her are cleansed a leper one who is unclean through contact with a dead body one who has a discharge and one who is defiled through contact with any kind of insect it is written then will I sprinkle clean water upon you and you shall be clean Yashiskel 3625 78 in the central column the vessel is united with her husband the vessel being a woman Malchut after becoming sanctified in the left column and becoming cleansed in the ritual waters in the right column she is united in the central column it is said about possess utensils such utensils that are used for cold things one dips them ritually in cold and they are cleansed since they are the souls that came from the side of mercy and they are merciful graceful and kind they do not require cleansing in lukewarm water like those of average people most certainly they are not cleansed in the very hot waters through which the completely wicked purify themselves those who heat themselves in the fire of the evil inclination about them it is written everything that comes into the fire you shall Pass through the fire beam at bar 3123 since the filth on them is great however the completely righteous are cleansed with cold water since it was said about them whoever puts space between the ones that get stuck together, meaning that he does not stick together while pronouncing the letters in the recital of SH Ma, one to the other they cool the for him 79 if the souls are materialistic in that they are like clay utensils their breakage is their purification as it is said if they are broken they were cleansed the secret of this is the sacrifices of Elohim are a broken spirit Tehillim 5119 however about those involved in studying written Torah and oral Torah which are fire and water and those who are striving after the secrets of the Torah which is light it is written and Torah is light Mishle 623 they are purified through the Torah and do not need the Hanam 80 furthermore we find in the chapter about seeing one who sees dates have to marry in his dream it means his iniquities have ended at TMU. This is what is written. The punishment of your iniquity is accomplished, O daughter of Zion, Isha 422, because Tamarim consists of the letters of Tamman whole, which is Jacob's level about whom it is written, and
Shema 1525 It is apparent from here that for whoever strives in the Torah which is the tree of life it is said about his sins and they made their lives bitter with heart bondage. Shema 1 to 14 The Holy One blessed be he forgives them and they become sweet again meaning that the iniquities turn to become like merits. 82 days will come of which will be fulfilled like the days that were during their exodus from Egypt what is written there and Joseph died and all his brethren and all that. Generation of it 6 in the last exile death is nothing but poverty since a poor person is regarded as dead the verse will be fulfilled of them and I will leave in the midst of you a poor and lowly people and they shall trust in the name of Hashem. Sephaniah 312 It will also be fulfilled in relation to them and the afflicted people you will save. 2 Samuel 2228 Those rich that will survive among them this will be fulfilled about them. Your idol your idol Shema 517 They are slack in. Learning Torah slow to do kindness toward Torah people and people of virtue that wander from city to city are not received graciously. 83 They are idle under the heavy burden you may say that it is because they are heavily burdened that they do not do kindness therefore let more work be laid upon the men that they may labor in it. Ibid 9 And cause that the burden will actually be real and let them not regard vain words. Ibid that they lie and say that the burden is heavy on them and Therefore they refrain from kindness they too are lying by saying that due to the burden that is heavily upon them there is no straw given that is the lie of money by which they have heard before the Holy One blessed be he by paying no attention to him nor trusting in the name of Hashem straw which is money is not given to your servants and not because of the heavy burden 84 those that have straw hide and store their money in it which is inside have talking like inside the storage or inside the safety box it is applicable to them yet shall you deliver the quantity have talking of bricks of 18 which refers to sums of money that are bricks that will exist during that generation 85 during that period there he made for them a statute and an ordinance and there he tested him Shema 1525 referring to the teachers of the mission they too came tomorrow and bitter of 23 the oral law will again be bitter to them with great stress and poverty and it will be fulfilled for them and they made their lives bitter with hard bondage which refers to hard questions in mortar hebjimer from minor to major hebjimer and in brick hebjimer that refers to explaining hebjimer law and in all manner of bondage in the field shema 114 that refers to the bereta since bereta means field all their bondage wherein they made them serve was with rigor but that is the unanswered problems and questions 86 and you faithful shepherd it will come true there for you there he made for them a statute and an ordinance and there he tested him with this tree of knowledge of good and evil that is prohibition and permission and through these secrets that will be revealed through you the waters were made sweet like salt that sweetens the meat so will they be sweetened through you by the secrets that will be revealed through you all these difficulties and disagreements of the bitter waters in the oral torah will return to be sweet waters of the torah these Sufferings that you have will again be sweet to you through the secrets that will be revealed through you and all your pains will seem to you like passing dreams that are no more dream. Hebshalom Chetland Mem is like salt Hebmelch Mem Lame and like salt that sweetens the meat so too our sufferings as we have explained. 87 The suffering will again be like salt of Sodom that blinds the eyes to the wicked to have the verse come true upon them but the eyes of the wicked shall fail. Yo 1120 These are the wicked mixed multitudes upon whom will come true. Many shall purify themselves and refine themselves and be tried but the wicked shall do wickedly. Daniel 1210 Refine themselves refers to the students of the Mishnah and be refined. David refers to the holy offspring of the rest of the nation as it says and will refine them as the silver is refined. Zechariah 139 But the wicked shall do wickedly refers to the mixed multitude. Section 16. The raven and the dove we hear that those who toil in the splendor called the Zohar will be wise and shine like the brightness of the firmaments they must teach every secret and teach others how to be receptive to the light of the Torah and to the light of the Zohar at that time they will be like the dove that was sent from Noah's ark not like the raven that betrayed his mission the prophet saw them become connected in three levels, Kedar Tiferet Yezid, in the center and thus said that they shall prosper be exalted be very high and be connected to two Messiahs 88 but the wise shall understand Daniel 1210 these are the scholars of Kabbalah it says about them and they who are wise shall shine like the brightness of the firmaments of it 3 this refers to those that place their effort in the splendor called the Zohar that is like Noah's ark to which are gathered two from a city seven from a kingdom and occasionally one from a city and two from a family by whom this comes true. Every son that is born you shall cast into the river Shema 122 The secret of the Torah is called son that is born means conceived into the river Is the light of the Torah throw him have tashlishu who is like teach him have taskalu Every individual secret that is born to you teach it teach how to be receptive to the light of the Torah and to its soul this is the light of this book of Zohar and all is due to you 89 who caused all this the raven since at that time you will be like a dove this alludes to the raven and the dove that Noah sent from the ark after comparing the Zohar to Noah's ark another messenger was called in your name just like the raven that was originally sent from the ark and did not return from his mission and made his effort with forbidden abominations about which it is said that the ignorant are abominable and he spent his efforts on them because of their money and he strove in his mission to return the righteous to repentance it is as if he has not fulfilled the mission of his master Rabbi Moses Cordovero a blessed memory wrote that it refers to Jeroboam the son of Nebat who was worthy to be the redeemer of Israel he faltered with the golden calf sent and caused many others to sin he is compared to the raven that betrayed his mission 90 the secret of the dove that entered the depths of the sea shall come true with you and likewise you will enter the deep chasms of the Torah this is what is written by the prophet Jonah for you did cast me into the deep into the heart of the seas Yonah 24 meaning in the sea of the Torah then there will be Chachmah Chesed and Netzach to the right of those David said the right hand of Hashem does valiantly the right hand of Hashem is exalted the right hand of Hashem does valiantly Tehillim 11815 to 16 the three levels of the left become connected together which are Bunik Burahat and the three levels in the center which are Kedar Tiferet Yezid are attached to right end Left since the central column is attached to right and left in this way the tenth spirot are perfected including the first three spirot 91 since the prophet saw you become connected in these three levels, Kedar Tiferet Yezid, in the center he pronounced upon you this verse behold my servant shall prosper the secret of Yezid he shall be exalted and extolled the secret of Tiferet and be very high Yeshayah 5213 the secret of Kedar you will be connected and attached to two Messiahs David. Spoke of the three right ones, Chak Meshisad Netzash, of Messiah the son of David and the right of Hashem three times as mentioned nearby corresponding to the three left ones, Vira by Nahad, to which is attached Messiah son of Ephraim he said from the first left side Vira I shall not die and further said but live Tehillim 11817 from the second side of the left which is your hot about this it is said that he gave hot to Moses meaning as it says and you shall put some of your Honor had hot upon him, Bimid bar 2720, meaning that the Holy One, blessed be he, gave him hot to be his own. It is given to you from the side of Bina since the illumination of Chakma from the left of Bina is revealed in hot 92. Thus in Vira you would have been arid and dry in everything due to Messiah the son of Ephraim, dry in your Torah and your prophecy and in your body in which you have suffered too many agonies so that he should not die. Messiah the son of Ephraim, you pleaded for mercy. On his behalf, therefore, it says about him, but live from the side of Bina, and therefore I shall not die from the side of Vira which carried from it harsh judgment as mentioned above, but live is from the side of Bina, meaning after Mokin were revealed from it, which are the secret of the tree of life, which is the central column that overpowers the left column Vira through the reading of SH of the morning prayer, which is the secret of Chisa, it is connected to it through the knot of the Tefal to the right of Abraham which is the morning prayers namely Chesed 93 and declare the works of Yah Tehillim 11817 from the side of Hod since the illumination of Chakma that is revealed from Bina is not revealed only from the chest downward that is in Hod Yah has chastised me severely of 18 meaning with Chakma and Bina which are from right and left since Chakma comprises three right ones, Chakma Chesed and Netzach, and Bina comprises three left ones, Bina. Vira and Hod prior to
Discussion saying, Faithful Shepherd, you knew all this and through you it was revealed, but in your humility as was said about you now, the man Moses was very meek. Demid bar 123 in these areas that you are shy to take credit for yourself, the Holy One, blessed be he has nominated us to the Holy Illumination, meaning Rabbi Shimon bar Yukai to act as your hand and your mouthpiece in these areas and of RAI may in the section 17 and on the day that the tabernacle was. Erected Rabbi Shimon tells Rabbi Shia that anyone who gives freely to the poor becomes worthy to be blessed. He increases in both wealth and life. He elaborates by saying that his charity causes him an increase in life above so that it increases his life below. We hear that in this way the tree of life is awakened to add life to the tree of death through a person's charity. He causes Zir and Ben and Malchut to join together and blessings to pour above and below. He is saved in this world and he shall have life in the world to come. 95 And on the day that the tabernacle was erected, Bimid bar 915, Rabbi Shia opened the discussion saying he has distributed freely. He has given to the poor. His righteousness endures forever. His horn shall be exalted with honor. Tehillim 1129, He has distributed freely. He has given to the poor. He inquires what is the meaning of distributed freely. He responds, It is as you say, there is one who gives freely and yet increases. Mishle 1124, We can also. Say that it is true for everyone who distributed freely, therefore he lets us know and here he has distributed freely, he has given to the poor. As soon as he gives freely to the poor, he becomes worthy to be blessed. What is the meaning of and yet increases? It means in everything he increases in wealth and increases in life. 96 He inquires this verse should have been read this way. There is one who gives freely and yet it will increase. What is meant by increases? He responds, It is this place where death resides, meaning Malchut. It causes him an increase in life above and draws from there and increases his life. Rabbi Yehuda said in the name of Rabbi Shia, the verse gives evidence that for whoever gives charity to the paupers, the tree of life is awakened that is Zer and to add life to the tree of death, which is Malchut, then life and happiness exist above in Malchut, and that tree of life stands over the person who caused this by his giving of charity in a time of need that Tree of death shields him and therefore it is proper to say yet increases 97 he asks what is the meaning of his righteousness endures forever he responds that charity stands for a person to give him his existence and life in the same manner that this person gives subsistence to the poor and the supernal life awakens toward him namely because of him as mentioned nearby it gives him life these two trees Zer and Ben and Malchut stand by him to save him and increase his life 98 his horn shall be exalted with honor come and behold observe the world we talked about that is Zer and Ben it said to him that the horn which is Malchut will be exalted and how with the honor of the above which is Bina since Malchut is exalted through the illumination of Bina that person through the charity that he gave caused them to join together meaning Zer and Ben and Malchut and blessings to pour above and below 99 Rabbi Abba said during the whole time that the tabernacle was erected Meaning when Malchut couples with Zer and Ben through the activities of people then that was a time of rejoicing for all holy anointing oil is poured into these candles as Firat of Malchut and all give off light whoever brings this about brings himself to be saved in this world and he shall have life in the world to come this is what is written but righteousness delivers from death Mishle 114 and it also says but the path of just men is like the gleam of sunlight that shines evermore. Brightly until the height of noonday Mishle 418 section 18 the standards Rabbi Shimon elucidates the vision of Ezekiel as found beginning in Yeshiskel 119 he describes the standard and the army of the lion with its dominating angel Michael 100 make for yourself two silver trumpets Demid bar 101 Rabbi Shimon opened the discussion saying and when the living creatures moved the wheels went by them and when the living creatures were lifted up from the earth it Wheels were lifted up, Yashiskel 119, and when the living creatures moved, they moved due to influence of the above. One may think that it is higher above. He responds, No, down below, just like this. The one is before the four faces, and the other after the four faces. 101A wind of the four winds, is robed in four compartments and four sides, and the brilliance that was created that supports the illuminated countenances. Therefore, they are like the appearance of the living creatures, which are the four corners upon which the standards were unfurled that are referred to as lion eagle ox man. These comprise the four dominating angels, which are Michael, Gabriel, Uriel, Raphael, and include everything since these four angels comprise all the legions in the heavens. 102. The first standard is an arm camp that is the secret of those able to go to war from the age of 20 and higher. Its living creature, Is a lion, the angel, Is Michael, recorded in the unfurled standard that is spread to the Right side and its wind is the east, that is the sunrise that follows its travels with its own light. Yafile and Zadkiel are appointed under him that is under Michael 1 for Torah and 1 to go to the marketplace. 103 When they travel several armed camps move from the right side and all are one that is they are under the leadership of the three angels mentioned above to the left side. The sun advances to shine and crowns them the camps thousands and ten thousands are appointed under him. And all are in awe and fear trembling and shaking. 104 The lion extends his right hand gathers all the legions to him and 370 lions surround that lion. He is in the center among them. 105 When that lion roars the firmaments shake and all the legions and camps tremble from the fear of him. From that sound the river diner goes up and descends in the 1500 steps to Gehenom below. Consequently all the wicked in Gehenom shake and burn in the fire about this it is written the lion has roared who Will not fear Amos 38 160 roars a second time and 370,000 lions all roar the lion extends his left hand all the prosecutors below become fearful and are subdued under that hand he spreads that hand over them and all are under him as it says your hand shall be on the neck of your enemies Verse 498 107 four wings of each one of them all glow from white fire all the countenances of a pomegranate and a blossom are impressed in the whiteness of that fire 108 four countenances to each individual one on four sides all shine in the whiteness of the sun one to the east side shines with happiness the one to the west side gathers its light the one to the north side is dark without any light like the shadow of the sun in relation to the sun the shadow is dark and the sun is bright since the sun and the shadow are right and left and go together all the darkness goes along with it all carry weapons of war 109 all from right and left are in three heads each head Containing 74,600 those legions depart by the right hand that he raised over them in addition to all those that are appointed below which are under those rulers, the ones over the others lower levels with higher ones which are innumerable 110 the count of the second head that goes along with the first head contains 54,400 in addition to all those appointed below to the four sides which have no account the third head that follows them has 57,400 the left travels in a way similar to how the right travels and likewise from the front and from the back 111 as soon as this first one moves and the tabernacle is lowered all the love it sing their song and all those who praise are at its side then it is written for the spirit of the living creatures was in the wheels Yeshiskel 120 section 19 the second standard here we read of the standard and the army of the eagle under the dominating angel Uriel 112 the second standard which is the standard of it. Camp of Reuben is an armed camp that is meaning in the secret of those able to go to war of twenty years and upwards in the aspect of an eagle under the domination of the angel Uriel who rules from the perspective of the central column the direction of the standards travel is to the south side which is the right column and Shisa two appointed are with Uriel which are Shamshil and Chazdile this eagle ascends with all the winged creatures before it many camps ascend from all directions each individual in the strength of the sun 113 the spirit of the inner spirit emerges that spirit reaches the eagle and he raises his wings and covers his body as it says does the hawk fly by your wisdom and stretch your wings toward the south Eo 3926 the eagle quarrels with the dove and the hawk and all the winged birds are chirping and joyful one from the front goes from the bottom upward several birds go down and enter chirping and joyful they go and wander 114 when he the eagle Travels he extends his right wing and gathers all his legions those 350,000 winged ones in two bodies composed of the eagle and the lion together when he raises a voice all the others ascend and descend whistling from their end from several grades 115 three heads are together in these camps since three tribes are in the camp of Reuben all are in a special count and the count of these heads is as follows one head is 46,500 the census count of the tribe of Reuben the second head is 59,300 the census count of the tribe
Coming from the eagle's side the sound is broken and not simply elongated meaning it is the sound of a true hand and all these camps of this eagle congregate to travel on their journeys meaning what is written when you blow an alarm and the camps shall go forward Bimid bar 105 corresponding to these two which are lion and eagle are two trumpets of silver since as it applies above so it is all down below come and behold when these travel it is written and when the living creatures move it. Wheels went by the Mujeshkal 119 this means those legions that congregate to the appointed are referred to as the wheels and as the head observes meaning the chieftain so do all observe namely the legions under them section 20 the third standard the section describes the standard of the ox under the dominating angel Gabriel from here comes judgment of all the sins of the world we learn that the supernal Torah is written in black fire on white fire and are told of the four divisions of fire water and wine 118 the third standard which is the standard of dance camp is the face of an ox of the living creatures that is left of the four angels this is Gabriel from the left column and it travels on the north side of the tabernacle which is left with Gabriel there are two appointed chieftains Capsil and Shakil since Gabriel corresponds to Dan and the two appointed correspond to Asher and Naphtali which are connected to the standard of dance campus. Ox is from the left side his horns ascend from between his two eyes he observes angrily and the eyes glow like a burning fire he rams and tramples with his feet and has no mercy 119 when this ox bellows many battalions of damaging demons emerge from the hole of that great deep all bellow and wander in front of him and wrath and the bag that contains all the sins hang in front of him since all the sins of the world are written in the book 127 fiery rivers are drawn in front of and when he is thirsty he goes to the river diner lit a fire and sucks it up in one draw the river is revealed again as originally and it is not false meaning it is not like a false spring whose waters stop all these legions of this ox the secret of Gabriel draw a fire that consumes fire if not for the fact that from the lion's side another river of water emerges which is the secret of light of Chesedim which extinguishes their coals the world would not have been able to endure there. Judgments 121 The darkness of the sun meaning the shadow exists there in the left column the light is available and not available many prosecutors wander and loiter in the dark and that river that is burning on the left side is a dark black fire you may think that here there is not a white fire a black fire a red fire fire composed from two colors meaning green do not think so since it certainly is like that the burning river is black and high above in Bina it is also so that the fire is composed from four fires from there it flows to these lower grades before the ox in Zeir and, and to the angel Gabriel in Malchut since in them the fire of Bura is composed of four fires 122 we learned in what manner the supernal Torah existed is white fire and is written in black fire on white fire the Torah exists in the two fires come and behold there is one fire meaning the left column that is referred to as fire and this divides into four fires being comprised of four aspects as mentioned also there is one water which is the right column referred to as water and it divides into four including four aspects and also the wind is one which is the central column and divides into four meaning it is composed of four aspects which are the three columns and Malchut that contains them 123 three heads exist in these camps corresponding to the three tribes of dance camp their count is one head of 62,700 which is the census of dance tribe as mentioned in the Scriptures the second head is 41,500 and that is the census of Asher's tribe the third head is 53,400 and that is the census of Naphtali's tribe and all the other levels that are spread out on their sides that have no count, meaning the women and children of these three tribes that are not included in the mentioned census all are grades upon grades except for some prosecutors that are drawn from the left column and which are below in the clipot and are impudent like dogs and bite like donkeys. Those that are not included in these camps of the left side woe unto those who are with them and whose judgment is on the fourth side which is Malchut meaning that they get their sustenance from Malchut section 21 the fourth standard the fourth standard is the face of man under the domination of the angel Raphael and it brings healing we read of two silver trumpets that break the judgments and subdue them 124 the fourth standard which is the standard of Ephraim's. Camp from the aspect of the living creatures is the face of man from the four angels it is Raphael and he travels on the west since all these are aspects of Malchut with it is healing since on the side of man the uppermost judgment is contained in it and it is healed he grasps the horns of the ox when that one wishes to bring him to the great depth and he binds them so they will consume the world by fire following this a thin small voice abides here the matter is very quiet so that no syllable is heard 125 on that side in Malchut rest whoever rests meaning Shasadim of the right column and whoever ascends elevates meaning the illumination of Chakma that is in the left column that shines in an ascending manner from below upward the sun's eir and is gathered to illuminate this area which is Malchut therefore it is written when you blow an alarm have true of bar 105 on the south side which is the right column and the illumination of the central column is mentioned however here in Malchut there is neither this nor that there is neither Tikiya nor Trua he asks why the blowing of the Trua he responds that is the secret of the force of the curtain in the central column that's abuse to the north side which is the left column in order to unite with the right it will not shine any longer except from bottom up as mentioned previously therefore the north side is the rear of all the camps as is written the rearward of all the camps of it 25 that is because it is established through Malchut as mentioned nearby therefore the standard of Ephraim which is Malchut travels before the left column which is the camp of Dan and the camp of Dan travels last 126 come and behold there are two trumpets since they are on the two sides we mentioned from the east which is the central column and from the south which is the right column they are prepared to break the judgments and subdue them in the secret of the Trua as mentioned nearby they are from silver which is Jesus and therefore also in the day of your gladness and in your solemn days you shall blow with the trumpets Bimid bar 1010 this is not specific which means both above and below in this world praise are the children of Israel whom the Holy One blessed be he wishes to have honor and he gave them the highest part above all other nations the Holy One blessed be he praises himself for them with the praises with which they praise him this is what is written and said to me you are my servant Israel Yeshua 493 section 22 the nuns Rabbi Lazer talks about the letter nun that faces backwards in two places in the quoted verses he says that when the ark traveled the Shechina traveled along and did not leave Israel and just as she kept her face turned back to the children of Israel the nun that traveled with them turned back to them Rabbi Shimon says that after the ark came to rest and the people complained they caused Malchut to turn her back on them 127 And it came to pass when the ark set forward that Moses said, Bimid bar 1035, Rabbi Lazar said, Here we must observe the letter none that is inverted facing backward here in two places, meaning the letter none that stands at the beginning of the verse. And it came to pass when the ark set forward, and after ity, one may think that it alludes to a bet none, as it is known that a bet none is a female meaning Malchut, and the straight none includes both male and female, which are Zeir and Benen. Malchut, we explained here the bet none about which is said, and it came to pass when the ark set forward that Moses said, Rise up, Hashem, Bimid bar 1035, that on the bet none he said, Rise, you may say, therefore, that both nuns were written inverted, but if so, why were they turned again facing backward in this manner? 128, come and behold, no nun is mentioned in the alphabetical praise, happy are they who dwell in your house, Tehillim 845, because the nun which is Malchut is in exile, the friends. Have explained it since it is written about her the virgin of Israel is fallen she shall no more rise Amos 52 however it is written above and the ark of the covenant of Hashem went before them in the three days journey to search out a resting place for them Bimid bar 1033 as soon as the ark traveled the nun was traveling above it that is Malchut since the Sheshanah was residing on the ark come and behold observe the love of the Holy One blessed be he for the children of Israel even though they diverged from the straight path the Holy One blessed be he did not wish to forsake them he always turns his face back to them for had it not been so they would never have been able to survive in the world 129 come and behold the ark was moving in front of them on a three day journey the nun indicating the Sheshanah traveled along and did not leave due to their love for Israel he turned his face back to Israel and she turned herself around from the ark similar to a young deer that Keeps turning her face back to the place she left when she goes forth. Therefore, when the ark set forth, the nun turned her face back towards the children of Israel and the shoulders of her body towards the ark. 130. Therefore, when the ark
inverted like another nun above which is the secret of Malchut this nun is kept backwards toward Yisrael and that supernal one which is Malchut is in a straight line with the ark meaning that it is in union with Zeir and since it is paired with Zeir and most certainly her face is toward Yisrael and not like Rabbi Lazer said 132 it is definitely so that Malchut did not turn her face back from Yisrael what did it do when the ark began to rest Moses and said return Hashem meaning cease from the illumination of Chachma and return to the illumination of Chesedim of Zeir and then the ark stayed meaning it rested and the Sheshana stood on the other side meaning on the right side which is Chesedim receiving the first three Sfarot of Chesedim that is the secret meaning of face from Zeir and she turns that face toward Yisrael and to the ark meaning that it faces the ark to receive Chesedim from it and faces Yisrael to bestow them with Chesedim that it receives. From the Ark of the Covenant everything is contained in her both the Ark and Yisrael only later Yisrael caused Malchut to turn her back on them as is written and when the people complained Bimidbar 111 therefore the nun is inverted between the verses and it came to pass when the Ark set forward and, and when the people complained 133 Rabbi Lazer said whatever I said is derived from the book of Rabbi Yebisab the elder who said that the nun is facing backwards on both sides of it. Verse preceding and it came to pass when the Ark set forward the face is turned to Yisrael and following when the Ark IT reverses turning its face towards the Ark and its back towards Yisrael he said to him that he said it properly that the writing of the nun should be so however what I said that it turned its back to Yisrael is not due to the reason of rest but rather due to the reason of the following verse and when the people complained you will find this in the book of Rabbi Hamana. Sabah the Elder and it is most definitely so section 23 now the manna was like coriander seed Rabbi Yossi gives two explanations of why the manna was like coriander seed 134 now the manna was like coriander have gad seed Bimidbar 117 Rabbi Yossi said gad seed has the same meaning as raiders have namely to establish seed and armies in the land as it is written gad shall gather a regiment Bereshit 4919 as the seed of gad took their portion in another land meaning across the Jordan River the manna similarly descended to rest on the children of Israel outside the holy land namely in the desert 135 another explanation like coriander seed means like a type of coriander seed that is white and freezes when it comes down through the air and is absorbed in the body the friends have already explained this and its color was like the color of delium Bimidbar 117 which is like that crystal that is white similar to the right above which is Jesus and is referred to as white section 24 kill me I pray you out of hand Rabbi Shimon tells Rabbi Yitzhak that Moses was addressing the place where death prevails he was speaking to the tree of death thus he used the feminine form of you God granted him his wish to die by not letting him enter the holy land it is therefore ill advised for a person to curse himself when he is angry because his curse will come true Rabbi Shimon points to Moses total humility and that he ascended over all the elevated prophets 136 Rabbi Yitzhak said what is the difference here why did Moses speak in the preceding verse as if talking to a female is written and if you fem form deal thus with me Bimidbar 1115 using the feminine gender he should have used the masculine term he responds he was referring to the place where death prevails and that area is of the female meaning Malchut therefore he said kill me I pray you out of hand but since this is it Tree of death and we have already explained that death is not present in the tree of life Zeir and therefore he could not possibly say to it kill me I pray you out of hand he consequently turned himself away from the tree of life and spoke to the tree of death Malchut saying you did not use a masculine gender that was how he was supposed to say it since Malchut is a female 137 immediately Hashem said to Moses gather to me 70 men of it 16 the holy one blessed be he said to him you ask for death all the time so here have it and I will take of the spirit of it 17 come and behold here Moses became aware that he would die and would not be able to enter the holy land since Eldad and Meadad prophesied this 138 therefore it is ill advised for a person to curse himself when he is angry since many adversaries are standing by to accept such speeches meaning that his curse will come true at another time when Moses requested death at the episode of the golden Calf saying, Blot me, I pray you out of your book which you have written. Shema 3232. They did not accept it from him because it was all for the benefit of the children of Israel. This time he said it out of pressure and anger, and therefore they accepted. Therefore Eldad and Meadad remained in the camp and said that Moses would be gathered to his people, and Joshua would usher the children of Israel into the land. 139. Therefore Joshua came to Moses and was jealous of Moses, but Moses was not concerned about his own honor. Consequently, Joshua said, My master Moses restrained them. Bimidbar 1128. What is meant by restrain them? It means to hold them from such speeches so that they will not come true as it says. So the people were restrained from bringing Shema 366, and the rain from heaven was restrained. Bereshit 82. The meaning of was restrained is actual restraining, but Moses did not wish to come and behold, contemplate the humility Moses had. It is written, Envy you for my sake. Bimidbar 1129 praised is Moses' lot in that he ascended above all the elevated prophets. Rabbi Yehuda said all the other prophets in relation to Moses are like the moon in relation to the sun. Section 25 Yet the Elohim does not give him power to eat of it. The rabbis discuss how hard-hearted people are in that they pay no attention to the matters of the higher world. Rabbi Shimon says that one eats in this world the fruits that he merits and the capital his soul is kept for him in the higher world so that he can gain with it the higher life above. But for whoever contaminates himself and does not deprive his soul or body of anything the tree of life is not available for him to eat from. Rabbi Abba says that when Moses saw that the people complained about the manna he saw that this blemished his own perfection and he could not bear to see his own wretchedness it was considered that descending from a higher to a lower level was like death. 140 Rabbi Abba was. Sitting one night studying Torah Rabbi Yossi and Rabbi Shishkiah were present with him Rabbi Yossi said how hard-hearted are the people that they do not pay attention to that world's matters at all Rabbi Abba said it is the evil in the heart which infects all the organs of the body that does this to them he opened the discussion saying there is an evil which I have seen under the sun and it is heavy upon men Kahilat 61 there is an evil which I have seen that is the evil force in the heart that which is to rule this world's matters and does not pay attention at all to the matters of that world 141 he inquires why is the heart evil he responds the verse following proves this a man to whom the Elohim has given riches wealth Ibid 2 this verse is difficult since it says so that he lacks nothing for his soul of all that he desires Ibid why then does it say yet Elohim does not give him power to eat of it Ibid seeing that he is not lacking for anything himself he responds it is because it is a secret and all of King Solomon's sayings also have other meanings hidden under their dress they are like sayings of the Torah that don stories pertaining to this world 142 come and behold it is necessary to look at the garment which are worldly stories meaning that although you cannot understand the verse out of its simple context this verse says this when a person goes about in this world the Holy One blessed be he gives him riches in order to merit the world to come and he will have the capital of his money left over for himself what is that capital that money that endures forever that is a place in which to store the soul he therefore is required to leave behind him that capital and this capital will be received by him after departing from this world 143 this principal capital is the tree of life of that world which is Zeir but is not present in this world except for the fruits that come out of it therefore one eats in this world the fruits that he Merits and the capital is kept for him in that world to gain with it the higher life above 144 for he who contaminates himself and is carried away after his own good and does not deprive his soul and body of anything that tree stays which is Zeir Anpin but he does not place it in front of him with also as to receive it above then yet Elohim does not give him power to eat of it and will not allow him to gain this wealth certainly a stranger eats it but as is written he may prepare it but the just shall put it on Eo 2716 therefore a person needs to merit and gain in that world through that which the Holy One blessed be he gives him and he eats from it in this world and the capital remains by him for the other world so that he will be tied up in the bundle of life Rabbi Yossi said most certainly it is so 145 Rabbi Yossi also said that it is written and if you deal thus with me kill me I pray you out of hand Bimidbar 1115 he inquires did Moses who was
and Nashon were attached to the right and left of Moses 147. Therefore he said, And if you deal thus with me, kill me, I pray you out of hand, since I have become as a female which is Malchut regarding her food, meaning with the meat that they were demanding, I came down from the heaven that is the highest degree, meaning Zeir and due to the fact that they loaded the bread of heaven to go down to the level of the female to the consumption of meat, yet I am superior to all prophets of the world, since all prophets use COH in their prophecy which is feminine, and Moses used the terms A which is Zeir and referred to as heavens. Therefore he said, And let me not see my own wretchedness, be midbar 1115. It was surely considered like death to descend to the lowest level, since descending from one level to the other level is considered for one like dying. Section 26 Gather to me 70 men, Moses was given the 70 men to assist him so that he should not become blemished and so that they would shine from his illumination we are told that God loved Moses more than any other prophet in the world since his prophecy came without any intervention 148 and Hashem said to Moses gather to me 70 men of the elders of Israel Bar 1116 they are present here to be given other food that does not come from heaven which was the level of Moses and you will not be blemished in your level therefore I will take of the spirit which is upon you and will put it upon them Bibit 17 what is the reason because they became united with the moon which is female and there was a need for the sun which is the degree of Zeir and, and the level of Moses to illuminate upon her therefore I will put it upon them so they will shine from the sun being the level of Moses like the illumination of the moon that comes from the sun hence this food meat did not come through Moses but rather through the 70 elders in order that he should not become blemished and be required to decline from his level as mentioned 149 praised is a lot of Moses that the Holy One blessed be he wished his honor about him it is written let your father and your mother be glad Mishlei 2325 your father is the Holy One blessed be he and your mother is the congregation of Israel which is Malchut and let her who bore you rejoice refers to Moses mother below the Holy One blessed be he loved him more than any other prophet in the world since his prophecy came without any intervention as it is written with him I speak mouth to mouth Bimidbar 128 we have explained it in several places section 27 the holy name of 11 letters Rabbi Shimon tells us about the 11 letters in the Hebrew sentence heal her now I pray you and says that Moses prayed such a short prayer so as not to burden God too much with his own family concerns God wished for the glory of Moses because he always prefers the honor of the just to his own honor we are reminded that in the world to come God will avenge the humiliation that was inflicted on the children of Israel and he will make Israel happy with the gladness of Zion 150 and Moses cried to Hashem saying heal her now I pray you Bimidbar 1213 this has already been explained this is the secret meaning of the holy name of 11 letters meaning the 11 letters that are in the words heal her now I pray you Moses did not wish to pray further because he did not wish to encumber the king too much with his own family that is why the holy one blessed be he wished for the glory of Moses the holy one blessed be he always prefers the honor of the just to his own in the world to come the holy one blessed be he will avenge the humiliation that the idolatrous nations inflicted on the children of Israel and he will make Israel happy with the gladness of Zion as is written therefore they shall come and sing in the height of Zion your 3111 then to Zion a redeemer shall come Yeshua 5920